Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're around too many Chinese people. That's a very well-rehearsed uh, aya. Yeah. No joke, okay. No, I, I, I can't hear ah. through these. No, maybe these are. Uh, you know what? I usually leave one off because I don't like the isolation. I like being able to hear, oh, the, hear the feedback. Yeah, I usually leave one off. Yeah. That's all good. It's okay. Cause you know, I... hey Phil, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, Honestly, man. Like, yeah. by now, like I should have some of these tech problems resolved. Yeah. No, it's all good, man. What up? I, I'm I actually. I'm the machine. I can't get the machine to work. I, I can't get the coffee out of me. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Let, let's mess around. With we'll get it right. What's going I, on? I'm, I'm <coughs> testing. A, I'm testing a new mic. This little. Uh, this little lavalier here. Thing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you to Florida with me. So. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you sound good. Thanks. Yeah. Like, it doesn't sound. Uh, uh, I think it works good. So, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's way easier than carrying a mic around. So, um, you know, we're kind of past the days of bad audio. So, yeah. Well, that's why it just gets very frustrating when the stupid thing won't work. Yeah. 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 It yeah, is yeah. working, right? Yeah. 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 It sounds good. Sound good. So what's going on? Um, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, it is, it is, uh, I'm getting ready for the show next week. So I got, uh, I got two presentations I'm doing. <laughs> Um, one is, one is, I think we talked about this before, but one is on how socials need to fold back into your, your marketing strategy. Yeah. Um, you know, and the other one is about what your time is worth. So that one, it's funny because I thought that the digital strategy to traditional marketing strategy would take a long time to cover. Um, but in fact, it's, uh, it's coming up a little short, um, but the how to what's your time worth and how you calculate it. Um, I'm going to have to move. Like I'm, I think I'm 30 slides. Like, you know me, I'm not, I'm not a long slide sort of guy, but I'm at 30 slides and I'm, I'm kind of looking at this thing going, I, I think slides. I know. Like, yeah. and um, like, I'm not a, I'm not a, the slides I did for our friend had a lot of verbiage on it. Um, well, that's a different slide. That's no, not a presentation. I'm not, I'm not narrating. Stand up, yeah, you don't yeah. want them to read. The slides are yeah. for you to trigger, so yeah. you don't. Because I mean, I, like me, I, I'll look yeah. and I don't know. What I was talking about. Yeah. I can't remember what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly I use the slides to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do too. But I'm at 30 <laughs> slides already, so I'm I've I've got to figure out how to um, cut them down a little bit in motor. But but there's just a lot, right? Like, I think um, you know, entrepreneurs really, you know. It surprises me every day, but but so many of them don't do the math to figure out what they're worth, you know. So things that you and I talk about about farming at work, it's um, they know they got to do it, but they just don't know where the point is where they're supposed to do it and when they keep it for themselves, right? So you know when you get into I don't think they know how to do it though. Yeah, maybe they don't, right? Like so, it's just this whole, you know. So I mean, you know, you unpack that and you go, okay. So if I'm an entrepreneur and, and I make a uh, hundred thousand dollars a year, so I make, you know, kind of 30, $40 an hour ish. Right. Um, <clears throat> you know, a hundred thousand, let, let's say that's what it is. It's give or, yeah. Okay. So it's 50 bucks an hour. Now you're looking at it going, okay, so if I do social media, right? Like, is it worth the $50 an hour? Or can I pay someone who's better than me to do it for 30? The answer is yes. So you should let them do it, right? Um, so you save some money, but um, you save time, which saves you money. But well, you put your you put your time into things that make you money. Yeah, like definitively yeah. make you money. So this is this is for the pet people, right? Yeah. So more time in front of their customers. Yeah. More time um, making sure the pricing makes sense. Yeah. As we always say, all the money's in the pricing. Yeah. So yeah. you know, spend more time 
where you need to. I, you're right. I mean, if you think on the social media side, especially if it's a small pet store and you want <coughs> excuse me, someone to do like four or five posts a week on Instagram mm. and Facebook, mm. yeah. even if they're different, mm-hmm. what are you going to pay someone? Mm-hmm. Like even they can even do a one, two blog post, but you can probably get away with that for 500 bucks a month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But right? the thing and, in and there is, better, you know, better there than your time. Yeah. But, but that's the thing is you got to, like when you start unpacking, it actually takes a long time, right? Because you get into what entre- every entrepreneur knows and makes a secret to their successes. You got to do everything yourself, right? Because it's That's the only a, way it yeah, gets done do right. That. Yeah. But at some point you got to, you know what I mean? Like, so, so when you, you start that, breaking it down, right. you, you got to start going, right. look, like I know what got you here was what made you successful, but the next iteration of who you are is to let go of those things that made you successful because they're going to hold you back from the next step. Plus, I'm not even convinced sometimes that's accurate. It's not that you yeah. can do it better as you think you can do it better. No, you just, right? you, which you, is typically the greater yeah. part is you think you can. Yeah. And quite frankly, if you're not an accountant, don't pretend to be one. Yep. Like you could probably hire a really good bookkeeper, right? For, you know, I don't for know, everything, again, four or 500 bucks a month if you want. Like, again, you know, if, you know yeah. if it's a big, if it's a big operation, yeah, it's different. But even then, you know, even if it's a thousand dollars a month, first off, they're actually going to know where your money is because I don't give a shit anyway. Says I know way too many entrepreneurs that all 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 do their own books, and quite frankly, mm-hmm. they shouldn't. Even, they probably shouldn't be mm-hmm. touching checks. Mm-hmm. Never mind managing books, mm-hmm. right? They don't know their expenses. They don't pay attention to it. Like they, you know what I mean? They just don't know what's going on in their world, mm-hmm. so they're not good at it. Mm-mm. They need to know, and then you got to find someone you trust and all that stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're losing money probably yeah. by doing it yourself because you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I, so it's funny because I, I know that they didn't work with them, but I, you know, I spent one of, one of our kind of famous hours with them or, or it might have been like famous three hours with them. But, or 10, whatever. You know, yeah, there was this one entrepreneur that, that I, I met and, um, you know, like during the time I was with him, he got, he got like three phone calls from American Express. And, and I said to him, listen, like, cause I couldn't see the number. Right. So I just said, listen, do you, do you got to take it? Like, it's cool. And I go ahead and he goes, no, no, it's American Express. I probably haven't paid a bill yet or whatever. And I go, you know, when American Express calls you, it's probably because you're way overdue. Yeah. It's not, you it's know, not one day past like, the first they month. They don't it's call you for the normal past. stuff. Like usually they call you when it's code red, right? Like, yeah, like bottom buddy, are you going to do you know, this or we shut it down? What, yeah, what do you yeah. want to do? <laughs> Yeah. And so he like, he was like, yeah, yeah. They keep telling me, I go, I don't, I think you got to take that. Like, cause I, I think do you like, do you, do you have problems paying your bills? He goes, no, I just can't keep track of this stuff. And then one month turns into two and I go, look buddy, like, I don't know anything about your business, but I'm pretty sure that at least paying the bare minimum of your payments on time uh, is more profitable to your business than trying to resurrect your credit score and your well, plus you know as well as credit I do. line. You, you know, this drying up cash credit flow. card. Yeah. 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 It's a charge. That's card, what right? like, it's it's whichever so. the, yeah, it's, it's basically yeah. you, you got no choice. You have to pay it. Yeah. They, they don't carry you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah correct. Right. Correct. So like, uh, you know, seriously, you got to wake up there, buddy. You know, a, so, but, but that's a classic case, right? Where, where you, what you really need is, <clears throat> You know, rather than try and keep that money in your your pocket, you're you're better off paying an accountant or a bookkeeper, yeah. you know, a couple of hundred bucks a month or whatever it is, right? For them to go, listen, like you gotta stay out of trouble with Amex, right? Like, cause the the fines that come with it, the overdues, the oh, the, the warning letters, the the bad credit rating, all of that stuff adds up. Like, you're way better off. Like, I'll keep track of it. I'll transfer the money for you. You know, whatever, right? Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't think that's abnormal, though. I honestly, I mean, no, I was talking to not. one this morning, and she's in the same boat. She's just yeah. she's struggling because at the end of the day, it's too much sometimes. Because I was talking to a colleague this afternoon about that person, they said, "Yeah, it's just it's too much." And what happens? You get so overwhelmed. Yeah, and you get so bogged down in in the shit. You just can't see the light of day if you try. Yeah. And quite frankly, it's, sometimes it's a couple small things. Just farm them out. Yeah. Like, farm it out. And account yeah. is probably one of the ones you should because knowing where your money is, is kind of critical. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's really important, right? Like it's right, just, uh, critical. you know, and then, and then what you really don't realize <laughs> though, you know, in the bookkeeper cases, like by the end of the year, you're trying to put shit together for taxes and everything. It's a real, it's a, so where is it? right. Cause you just like, where is it? 
crap. Like I, I've lost, yeah, I don't know, two months worth of receipts. Like I'm looking for crap. Like I'm trying to make stuff up now, you know? And meanwhile, like you, you paid this bookkeeper a couple of hundred bucks a month and you know, your stuff's tidy, right? Like exactly. You go to the end of month. It's, it's, it's yeah. if it's in a shoe box, it's all elastic banded yeah, and paper yeah. clipped and all, you know, this is this. And you're thinking, wow, this is like heaven. Yeah, that's exactly right? it. Right. So, yeah. So but anyway. again, that's, that's, that's a learned thing. And again, I think sometimes what you said is, you know, and I'll tell you what, if you, if you want the, the key to failure, do it all yourself. Yeah. That's the key to failure. Yeah, yeah. Because when you, yeah. when you get that, and, and, I'll, and I'll call it, it I mean, arrogance is a bad word, but it's the arrogance of thinking you can do better. You Hubris. can't. Yeah, it is. It's hubris, right? Like hubris. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, it's so fancy. I don't think I've ever used that word in a sentence before. <laughs> I actually was kind of excited because I've never figured out how to use hubris in a sentence. Is that how you use it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are we going to get checked now? Um, is it going to be like a grammar check? Yeah, one of the, the six listeners might might come back and go, guys, you're way that's off. That's not how you use it. <laughs> you showed hubris using hubris. Yeah, and I and I can't and I can't. Well, bottom line, they know it's not going to be me because I, I can't use that word. Uh, it's okay. It's the marketing guy. He's spewing off again. That's what he's doing. So, <laughs> so um, else could I? So, um, I uh, so I, I actually follow my own advice. I I um, I've been kind of creating stories and doing decks, and uh, I hired. Um, Sarah Carvello, um, oh, good. Our, our photographer to do some graphic design for me and, uh, she did a great job. Um, just, uh, cleaned up a bunch of decks for me and, and kind of put up with my craziness. You know, I wanted certain icons and, but she just did, um, you know, the best, you know, really the best 30 minute conversation I ever had, right. Was me going, here's all of my thoughts. Here's what they look like. Everything is copy and paste. Everything is fair game. If you can make me look more pro, you should go for it. Um, here's the website. The hell, follow, right? follow the style on the website. I'll give you a style guide so you know what to follow and what fonts to use. And and um, she was like, okay, I you know like a pro, right? She got it. Went away. Like thirty minute conversation, a briefer, and then we had a we had a quick uh, email exchange. She was like, have a look. And I said, I love it except for two things. Um, she changed them for me and uh, I love it, you know? Um, yeah. The time you saved. Oh man, you know, and, and I look good, right? Like I showed up, you know, totally. to our groups and went, guys, I, I got this polish for us. And I went, holy shit, this looks great. And I'm like, you know, that's what happens, right? Like, you know, that's the moment, right? Like that's, that's, exactly. that's when, you know, like you, you got a good team around you, right? So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, you know, again, for all the entrepreneurs out there, don't farm everything mm. out. Like no, the idea you can't. of bankrupt farming at no, all. You can't. You can't. The you thing can't. is, is the stuff you the stuff you struggle with or really are shitty at, don't do. Yeah. Just don't. You will never by the time you become proficient at that, your business is gone anyway. Yeah. Right? Well, because and, nobody was watching yeah. the business. You're spending all the time in areas that, you, that that you're just not good at. Don't do it. Yeah. But yeah, and you're right. Like we we talked about this last episode too, but um I didn't hand this off to Sarah until I knew the flow of the story was right. The messaging I wanted was right. The yeah, language, not a mind reader. right. You know, cause she's not a mind reader and she's not in my business. Um, you know what I mean? Like, so, totally. so what I needed from her, what the instructions I gave her is why I got such good results was cause she was a pro and she was waiting. And I said to her, here's all I need you to do is clean me up, make me look good. Um, don't screw around with my words, right? Like my words are good. If you find some grammatical errors, tell me. Oh, yeah, punctuation, but, uh, grammar, you know, punctuation fix it. grammar. But other than but that, like content you know, is content. You can't yeah, change yeah. changing even words. No, no, it can change the whole story, yeah, right? Yeah, I can. It can screw everything up, right? And and so she was pro enough to go. I got it, you know. So and and there were moments where she would go, "Is this what you meant to say?" And I went. Oh shit. No, actually, let me change that for you. Yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, right. Like I, I didn't hand it off and kind of expect a miracle, right? Like, cause, yeah. you know, you can't ask anyone for that. That's, that's when you as an entrepreneur get to pull things out of your ass and make the mirror miraculous. Right. So but that's the whole point of it. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's what you should be doing. But, but so do you see why the, the deck gets so long, right? Because you really have to cover you know, because these are all the things that entrepreneurs think about, right? When you say you should farm this out and they think of like, we, we, we just went for like, <laughs> we just went for like 18 minutes, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't farm it all out. <laughs> oh 
my god right like so i gotta figure out how to condense all this into it's it's uh, it's a 75 minute talk so I so maybe what you do phil is take a look at the stuff yeah. you know you can show 30 things that you sh you could potentially farm out yeah. just focus on three well i'm, I'm actually bookkeeping is yeah. always how it should be farmed out yeah should but, but i'm actually going to show them so f the first part of this is me showing them how to count their time is really worth um do you know what i mean like like i want to be able to do the math because i've met enough entrepreneurs at this show to know that most of them have a general idea of what they're worth, but they never associate that to the task at hand. So yeah. I almost need to do the math with them. So the first half of this is going to be, let's do the math, right? Like, so literally let's get to just like you and I did it in like 30 seconds of like, if you make a hundred grand a year, you know, you, you get paid $50 an hour. So, you know, go figure it out. Like, so now you've got a benchmark to kind of, you know, cost more than that. Well, if I can do it myself, maybe I'll save some money or right. cost way less than that. I should probably farm out a good chunk of this. Yeah. Um, but I got to get them there before I get into yeah. this, you know, this conversation we just had. Right. So, yeah, it's, it, you know what it's, it's, it's not, it's first off, it's not even, it's not even one you can do in 75 minutes anyway. Mm -mm. You're going to have, you're going to struggle no matter what you do because yeah. the amount of questions you're going to get, well, how yeah. about this? How about that? And you're thinking, well, yeah. you know what? Yes a lawyer costs you $250 an hour, yeah. but in many situations might be money well spent because you saving the 200 because you're going to do it could cost yeah, you sure. tens of thousands because you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, go ahead, register a trademark without a lawyer, see what yeah, happens. Yeah, enjoy, and have, knock your socks off. <laughs> I mean, you can sometimes like basic incorporate, incorporating, yeah, you yeah. do it. It's not hard to do online. No, no. And you, you know, it's probably cost you like five, 600 bucks to do online. Yeah. And yeah. cost you fifteen hundred bucks, two grand with the lawyer. Yeah, but that lawyer's probably done numerous of them. Yeah, mm, you've done none. Yeah, well, how long is it going to take you? Well, you know, like you said, so if you yeah. start spending fifteen hours at fifty dollars an hour at seven fifty plus the cost of another six hundred, well, now you're thirteen fifty. Well, it was fifteen to get the lawyer in fifteen yeah. hours. You could have done a few other things. Could have done a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. Right. Probably would have made the fifteen hundred dollars to cover the cost of the lawyer. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, but again, you you got it. You, it's not rocket science, right? Sit down and do the math. Just be careful mm -hmm. what you farm out. Yeah. yeah. You know, sweeping up at the end of the day. I don't know if I'd call a janitor. You can sweep. It's not. It's not rocket. You know, yeah, I guess yeah, it's not yeah, rocket yeah. science. It's just not rocket science. Just do a yeah. sweep. Yeah. You know, hopping on a cash register all day probably not smart if you're the yeah. best salesperson in the house which most yeah. owners probably which are. most owners are be on right the floor yeah. selling yeah because the amount of money you'll send to that cash register yeah it is 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 worth it to have someone paying 15 dollars an hour to do yeah. cash not 50. yeah yeah, yeah. Right? but people you no, put it you're saying right they'll look at it and say well yeah but i don't have to pay that person and i realize that you had to pay yourself yeah yeah and that's the thing right that's the trick right is you you got to fill in that gap so we can get to the how do you decide, right? Because otherwise they get lost in the, well, how do I decide? Like, how do I know which ones I'm supposed to farm it? So again, it's like you said, it's just, it's the math. If you were on the floor yeah. for that, you know, if you did an eight hour shift at cash, cost you $120 to hire an employee at 15 bucks an hour, which is a pretty good wage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So eight hours on the floor, you can generate 120 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No. You probably upsell 30 people properly. You know, they don't realize they should have bought this, this, and this with whatever they got. I mean, yeah, yeah to me, it makes, there's no, yeah. you know, I mean, even in the old days, we had, we had, we had managers at London Drugs would, would end up having that same mentality. Well, you know, it's better to have all of us on payroll because we're sort of like the fixed part of payroll. So management would go on. I'm thinking, yeah, but you're paying us three times, two, three times yeah. what you'd play an employee. Mm -hmm. And now what the fuck's getting done. Yeah. 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 Right now, now all the management shit's not getting done because you're on cash. Yeah. You know, saving well, 12, $13 an hour at that time. Yeah. When, you know, yeah. Yeah. No, I right. Agree. I agree. But they made, they made sense of it. They could sit down and say, well, that's what it would cost me. And I think, yeah, that's what it costs you. But how about the opportunity cost? What are the other costs? Yeah. Right. What was I working on when you pulled me out? Anyway, so, so that's what I've been working on. I'm working on these because I, I need to get them ready for next week. Um, 
pretty close to a marketing story now for Nimi, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I'm starting to do, you know, you're close when you're starting to roll up your marketing budget. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, you're really close when you're starting to sweat the marketing budget because you're yeah. worried about shit. There's not enough money here. Yeah. Um, I could really use, you know, 20, 30 grand more. I could use this. I could use that, you know. Um, and then yeah, I'm where do you know where you grab it from? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, so I'm doing that. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's, it's just, uh, it's going well. It's going well. It's awesome, man. Yeah. It's yeah, good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Man, so that's what's going on with me. I'm, you know, it's steady though. It's, 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 good. it's not a, uh, it's not crazy anymore. It's just a, it's very steady. It's very, you know, kind of got to roll with it, keep going, but, uh, but it's good. It's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. You? What's going on with you? Nothing. We got back from expo Sunday morning. I think it was a massive eye opener mm. to, um, for your to drug guys. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Well, you haven't been down in a while, but so yeah. you know, the, the new building is the North building. It used to be where I think the parking lot used to be Okay, in the back of the Hilton. Okay. And you know, it opened early at nine. We finally finished it at two. Right. And that was their first stop. Right. And they were coming. I said, oh. well, what do you think? I said, well, it's, it's not bad. I, I said, but you realize we've only done like probably a little less than a third. Yeah. Uh, this show yeah. only goes to four tomorrow afternoon. We, uh, we got nobody to extend this show. So we got to pick up the pace a little bit here, kitties. But you don't want to rush him either, right? Because, you know, again, it, what, you know what it shows? It, it's, it's like anything. You, you can't sit in Edmonton or Calgary or even Toronto or Vancouver and see the world. You got to go to these shows. Like, you know, again, so you're, for your, your people there, or that you're talking to is saving some money so you can attend super zoo mm -hmm. or whatever it is. It's important. Yeah. That's where you see what's going on in the real world. Like expo was just absolutely freaking insane this year. I mean, it was, it's, I don't know how much bigger can ever get. Like every time I go, it's like, it's just busting at the seams. It's amazing. Just busting at the seams. Did you buy anything? I can't, I'm not a buyer. Oh, if I was, I would have been. It would have been a. It would have been a shit show. Holy moly! There's so much cool stuff, man. Yeah. So what, much cool stuff. So, what was the? Was there one genre or one kind of emerging trend that that kind of made you like? So much of emerging trend. I'm just surprised it's gotten bigger. Is is uh milk subs? Hmm. Milk okay. subs is huge. Oat milks, uh, macadamia nut milks, pistachio milks, almond yeah. milks, yeah. walnut milks. Like the, the amount, it just was crazy. And vegan anything. Like the amount of alternative um, meats or alternatives for meats mm -hmm. um, was, was, I mean, it's been gross, but it, it was just, it's just, it's large. Like anything they get, well, I guess even if you think about it, the milk subs are the getaway from, from animal byproducts. The, the animal, yeah. plant-based is, yeah. if you didn't know it was here and it was, it's where uh, it's at, it's, here. Yeah. it's definitively yeah. where it's at. Like, I mean, it's, there's no freaking doubt. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't any doubt last year, probably the year before, yeah. but this year in particular, I just looked around and thought, holy shit, man. Like definitively, there is no doubt that plant-based is where this, this is, this industry is going. And the other thing I noticed Proctor, yeah. like big guys are we're, we're sprouting yeah. up more than they ever have. Yeah. 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 What like Procter? Yeah, so many kind of alternative, alternative. Ah, you know, whatever they're buying, all these companies, they all just they're all buying shit, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's okay because they fuck it all up anyway. So I mean, there's there's yeah. so much room for little guys. If again, if you can do what you said before, then get their shit together and just focus. There's so much cool stuff. Like it's just such a spectacular show. Like you yeah. really got a plan to go next year. Oh, well, I'll go good. with you. We'll walk it with you. Lucha, yeah. Lucha will come with us. Like seriously, yeah. oh my god, what a fantastic show. Just oh, phenomenal, but and it's great watching it with someone who's never been. Like the three of them, I think they were. I, I honestly, I, they, I'm sure it, it was like, wow, like that's a beast. So they're already emailing, like, oh my god, the ideas, and we want to strategize, and that's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 it, that's man. What you want. That's, that's what you want. success on the show. Yeah, that's yeah. It. It, was a, it was a killer show. Then, right? If yeah. you can walk out being excited, if you can, if you walk yeah. out not being excited, then you really should question probably the job you're in or the industry you're in.
Well, or you worry that you're so far behind you can't catch up, right? So, Which do you know what I mean? Like, probably means you probably should really question where you were <laughs> or what you do. Maybe, yeah. yeah if yeah. you're that far behind, where the hell have you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Right? Agree. Right. Pretty spectacular. Pretty, pretty cool. So, now I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in Vegas on a Vegas Saturday night. What's, uh, what's the show in Vegas? Close out. Oh. Yeah. That's a show for you and I. That's like one big garage no, sale. No. Mm. Well, I'm clearing my credit card, no. baby. I'm going to no, clear Kenny. up the car. No, Kenny. No, Kenny. Be careful because you know what? We're going no. halvesies. these. <laughs> no, Kenny. No, Kenny. No. no, no. Listen, buddy. If When I spend with my credit card, it's like spending with no, your credit card. No, no. Somebody stop Kenny from No, going. because and you know why it works good for me? Because if I end up dropping 20 grand, it's only really 10. Because Phil's in it for is, 10. Is Amelia there? Amelia, can you oh, hear me? Amelia. Leave her alone. She's sleeping. Amelia. <laughs> she, she knows what's going on. And if she doesn't, she doesn't need to. Just stay quiet. <laughs> oh my God. She knows what her husband's capable of. Crazy. I know. I know. I know. So anyway, I'm hoping there's I'm hoping there's some uh I mean we gotta be careful. We can't go crazy. I mean, they've got you know, you, you gotta, it was, it was much easier with London. Um, it's easier if you're probably like a sh shoppers or law laws or you, Canadian you got somewhere to clear push. it out, right? Well, you can push. Pushing is a trick, yeah. right? If you can't push, it's, it's a difficult show, mm. right? Yeah. Because the deal could be great, but if you can't, if you can't, no, if it you doesn't can't, you can't find someone interested, you're, you're well, it's not even fine. I mean, you're, you, you're, you shouldn't even give your stores a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There shouldn't be any question. I don't care if you're interested. I mean, yeah. you know, there's not even a thought. You're taking it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So oh, we'll man. see. We'll see what this weekend. Uh, we'll see what this weekend brings. Man, oh man, that yeah. sounds good. No, it was all good, and that's sort of where the we you know. So now I'm I'm seeing uh, Aaron and Jimmy tomorrow, okay. and a lot of it'll be I'll be you know stuff I saw from the show and how can we yeah. relate to this? Yeah. And, you know, it's like it inspires you to to start busting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, busting, yeah. you know, I, and I did a like I was I did a bunch of writing in the evenings for like the liquor store because of what I saw. There was cool yeah. things that might be able to spin in that world. Like it's oh, just nice. Like you just start getting it's, it's a good bounce. catalyst. Yeah, it's a good oh, catalyst. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, I know, I'm it. pretty stoked. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's um yeah, yeah. It was it was good. It was really good. You would have loved it. You would have loved it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm. I'm feeling it already and I'm not even there. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 That sounds cool. Sounds cool. All good. All good. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm, good. I'm looking forward to, so I'm looking forward to this show next week. Um, it's turned into a nice show. Like um, it's huge, you know, but I'll go in and uh, I'm which one is this one? Day. This is global. This is global pet global in Florida. Pet. Yeah. 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 I haven't been to yeah. that one. I should, I'd like to go maybe next year. It's pretty fun. It's at uh, Orange County. Shows. It looks pretty much like a natural expo. I think it's actually the, the mirror. Yeah. The mirror conference center. Right. So, um, you know, it's, it's the same as like, I don't know how many football fields or whatever it is, but, but it's huge. Um, but I spend, we've kind of got it down to a science now. So I spend all day Thursday speaking. Um, I'm going to do a couple of panels on Wednesday and then, uh, Friday and Saturday, I'm, I'm going to golf my brains out, um, Good. with the guy. So just, uh, you know, kind of chill out and blow some steam, come home Sunday and then, uh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are the kids off? The kids are off this week. So we went to Chicago. Um, I saw that. That was Chicago. good. How yeah. was it? It was, uh, you know what? It's, it's really fun. Like now that they're, they're bigger. We did really, you know, the kids stuff is always fun, but now we're doing adult stuff. So we went to the art gallery. Yeah. It's um, even more fun. You know, it was pretty fun. And then, and then Monday, Monday was basically food tourism, right? So we, uh, we started breakfast. We, you know, we got samplers, not samplers, but like small portions that we split up everywhere we went, probably nice. hit like 10 different restaurants. Um, so we, we did kind of like a food crawl all day. Um, fantastic. You know, That's I just like I, I picked like 10 iconic Chicago restaurants and, and then just kind of like worked our way through them. Right. So, yeah. yeah, That's a good day. Yeah, it was good. It was uh, That's cool. a good day. Yeah. Yeah. It made Tuesday comatose driving home. Right. Because you're just like, uh, well, you drove. Oh, yeah, we drove. It's eight hours. How far is Chicago? It's eight hours. How long did you go for? Uh, we were there three days. 
It's a long drive. No, three days. not really. No, no. I don't know. We we do Is that a it. Nice drive. Uh, no, it's pretty boring. It's 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 very straightforward. I mean, like it's almost, it's literally almost like laterally across the map, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, but uh, but it was it was fine. Like we 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 don't mind driving. I, I do all the driving. I we yeah. literally go nonstop, and then uh, you know, so we left like Friday night at like seven. Got in at I don't know two a.m. a.m. at the hotel. You know. Woke up and started late um, Saturday morning, and then just kind of went right. And then Tuesday morning, we we left at like five a.m. Um, stopped at Frankenmuth, which is a Christmas town. Uh, oh, that Frankenmuth, sounds cool. Frankenmuth, Michigan. There's nothing there, but there's a uh, Bromner's, which which does all the Christmas stuff all year yeah. round. Uh, and so they've kind of built it into a Christmas town. So it's one of the most Christmassy towns in America. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So the kids were like, whoa, this is cool. I was like, yeah, you know, like it's got German roots, right? They've got German immigrants yeah. landed there. So they got all these German style architecture. Um, so it was really cute. It was a really cute stopover. And, and we went Christmas shopping. Uh, <laughs> Shit, man, that's awesome. You're way ahead. Yeah, it, was pretty, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. So, yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know, it's, it's awesome. Nice to, you know, you got to take breaks and then uh, get back at her. So exactly. So when are you heading back? To, when are you heading to the states? Uh, I'm heading at Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday morning. Yeah, early, early Wednesday morning. So then, if next week, if you want to record after the show, and then you can let people know how the uh, yeah how the yeah. show went. We could. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, we could. I can do Thursday night. I can do Friday night. When uh, you? When's oh, your, when's but your you're in Vegas, though, right? No, I'm back on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. No, Tuesday I'm morning. there. Uh, my presentations are Thursday. So Thursday. Oh, okay. Night. So it could work. I mean, yeah, as long as you, I want to see how they went, you can let people know how yeah. they went, see yeah, what the reception yeah. was like. So I like to, I like to hear how people, you know, yeah, that it's, it's, actually, it's, it's, a hard, it's going to be a tough time. message for people. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it'll be a great time. It will, it'll be fresh <clears> and I'll have just done it. Um, I'll try and take some pictures of the show as well. Yeah. And share some of that stuff. That's, uh, yeah, it'll be good. No, that's cool, man. That's really cool. That's really cool. So what's on for now? That's it for tonight or? Um, I should probably go back to work, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to go to bed yeah. uh, and then uh, just start fresh tomorrow. Um, yeah, I got to figure out how to use a coffee machine. <laughs> well, so so what did you get? I, I bought it because we've always had them. We bought another yeah. Saeco, right? But we, yep. you know, we spend a lot of money on our machines. Yeah, yeah. Right, because we yeah. we go through a lot of coffee, right? I mean, this one went down two days ago. Yeah. And we were gonna wait, but the guy, you know, three weeks before we got a quote, I said, "Man, we're not gonna make it." Yeah. And I said, "If we get, if we wait three weeks, and they come back, you know, with a five hundred, six hundred dollar bill, I said, I don't know if we're gonna do it because, no, no. Yeah. you know, we've already taken this thing at once, I and mean, we spent a shitload of money on it. But yeah. you get to the point where it's yeah. You know, the parts are the parts. Yeah. You, you know, know, might be just cheaper how, to buy. Uh, that machine's uh, since probably just after we bought or made, built the house. So maybe 10 years, oh, okay. 11 years. Yeah. 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 That's about right. Yeah. But it was, you know, the machine was two grand, right? It wasn't, a, it wasn't peanuts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's one of those ones that we brought it in once. Oh, I it's an automatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So yeah. Anyway, I got another one. Yeah. And yeah, we like our coffee. Sorry, but yeah. No, you know what? We're, we're like I, that. I don't too. care. I, yeah. I don't care. No, we're like that too. We we've got a we've got a bird grinder right beside the the yeah. espresso machine. Um, you know, at the time, it was the first espresso machine. So, you know, I had, I had looked at it because I think uh, Costco carries a Seiko as well. And Probably. so I looked at that, and and um, Kathy was like, "Well, I don't know. It's a lot of money." And I went, "All right, fine." You know what we're going to do? We're going to get, we're going to get the cheaper um, manual version. And then uh, I'll convince you that this is the right thing to do. We'll drink espressos, long coffees. Yeah. And um, you know, but, but it's, it's been great. Like it, you know, we're five, seven years in and it's still running. So I ain't touched it. Itself you know? A million times over, right? Just oh yeah. Going. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah we we just basically yeah. fall apart when yeah. we don't have a machine. Yeah. So I had to go back to a, you know, a, a drip thingy. Mm-mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like. Um, I don't like. So I travel with an AeroPress now. Um, did, have cool. you ever used an AeroPress? No. Um, I might send you one. You'll like it. You'll yeah. Like it. Yeah. It's uh, 
you know, it's it's like the camping version of an espresso machine. Yeah. Um, but it is it is great. Like it's just uh, like in in situations like that, you're just like, I'm good. I can wait. I can hold out because the because uh, the AeroPress makes. They actually do competitions around the world where they will stack an espresso beside an AeroPress made espresso. Really? Uh, have people choose what they are. And they can match the crema and yeah, yeah, flavor. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I like my machine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna change. I don't care. <laughs> No, I Whatever. like that too. I like. I'm, I'm not. Nah, I don't care. I like my express machine. I'm, I'm, well, if I can get it to work, I'm going to like it even that yeah. much more. But you know, that's. Yeah. Yeah. I got to have to go read a manual, which I hate there. freaking reading manuals. Ugh. Ugh. Isn't there's no YouTube video for it? Uh, I'm going to go check. It's because it, it was spitting out like colored water, like Manona used to make. I'm thinking I don't want colored water. I want. I want to. Maybe it just needs know. to flush first. It, pro it probably did. I mean, I was, I was trying to rush upstairs to get to you. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I probably, I could have probably run maybe two more wets uh, through, but then I thought, oh, yeah. fuck, whatever, whatever, do it. Make yeah, me I was, I was it. hoping, yeah, that's it. But the stupid thing didn't do it. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going back down. I'll go figure it out. It. I love it. Go do it. Go do it. Okay, yeah. buddy. All right. Thanks, man. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Then have a good trip. Thanks. I will. Um, I will. You too. So let me know if we're still on or not uh, for next week. You let me know. Yeah, I think we, I think we hold steady. Um, yeah. so don't last... tell me what to do. You, you're not the boss of me. Yeah. I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sharing, so I don't really care anyway. Who cares? Hey, okay. okay. Never. Oh. What, 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 you don't like garage sales? Like you don't like shopping? Oh, fuck. I love Exactly. No, so just relax. The problem. the problem is I love it too much. No worries. Trust me. Too much. Trust me. Oh, that's right. I have control. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, you have as much control as I do. That's what I worry about. Maybe more. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what damage I can do. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm going to clean the credit card before I go. That's all I know. Oh, oh no. no. I'll get to know it, buddy. Oh. I'll get to know it. All right, all right okay. young man. You we'll chat night. with you next week. Yeah, next Safe week. travels. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. You too. You too. Sounds good, man. I'll uh, talk to you next week. Sounds good. Okay. Ciao. Okay. Ciao, buddy. All right, that's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more Commerce News.